Well, how has, you know, this camp been for you so far? It seems like the opportunity you've been waiting for is here for you to maybe get some extended playing time. How has that been? Um, It's been very, very fun, you know. You know, getting to my last year, getting the opportunity that I've been waiting for, I'm taking advantage of it. You know, every rep I've been – you know, focusing on the little things that I need to improve on throughout camp, you know, taking it day by day. And it's just been fun, really. What are some of those little things that you're trying to focus on and improve going into the season? So let me say one day, if one day I'll be focusing on hands, hand placement, and then next day running to the ball, breaking to the ball. Um, another day, get off. I've been working on my get off a lot this off season, so I feel like that's one area I've improved on very well then. So since you've been here, how many different positions have you spent a lot of time focusing on? So I didn't play Jack, um, Sam, which is in one of our packages, and um, I didn't play inside linebacker a little bit this past spring. So I've been jumping around a little bit, but Jack mainly been my focus, main focus. So even if you didn't have this opportunity, how do you feel like you've improved? Like how much, in what way do you think you're a better football player than you were a year ago, two years ago? Obviously it's going to be more important with this opportunity, but in what ways do you think you've improved? Uh, the mental aspect of it, you know, being a younger player, you know, I felt as if, I could have played a little bit early on, but it wasn't my time. I mean, you know, I had a lot of great players before me, you know, Chauncey Manick, Andre Jones, Andre Riley. You know, I done been behind them. So the mature side of me was like, man, you know, I'm not playing early on, but I could learn from these guys. So I just took it from year to year. I just learned from the older guys and just took a bit of their game and made it my own. I'm going to say about the people who are in the room with you this year as you're going through camp and how it's kind of helped you um, kind of get better. Um, man, so I'm the old head in the room now. So <laughs> Cam Whitfield, Cam George, you know, them young guys, man, they didn't been they didn't took major steps coming this uh this fall. You know, George, he been he been stepping up a lot lately. Um, Cam Whitfield, he's took the major step into being one of the main guys on the defense. And um, Trey Fight, he's a new guy coming in, but he's taken a lot of big steps since the spring. So it's all about just really having the collective room coming together and, you know, we all taking steps forward, you know, not leaving a person behind. Obviously, talent, technique, skill, all that factors into someone being a good football player. But in your case, how would you say patience has helped you uh, fine-tune your game and become a better football player? Patience. Um, with patience, I feel like being a big observer is the biggest thing with it. So you, you have to t take a step back and, you know, just watch everything. Take game. You can always learn from people. You can never not learn from up someone, you know, and um, I feel like that was my biggest thing, always being an observer, always being a learner. So when my time did come, you know, I was prepared and ready for it. What got you through? I mean, did you just enjoy all of this and or through that waiting period where you would play a little bit, but maybe not as much as you wanted your family, your friends? What, what is it that kind of kept you going through that whole waiting period? Oh, uh, Man, it was a challenge at first, you know. Um, it was a lot of mental mental aspects of it, you know, kind of getting down on yourself at times. But being around the team and always having my support back at home, you know, telling me, you know, just keep sticking it through, you know, and that time will come, and it has. Is that the scrimmage? Oh man, are we ready to hit somebody or not? <laughs> so, in terms of when you were coming out of Baton Rouge in high school, you had no idea what college was going to be like. Now that you're about, what is your, how would you kind of say your college experience has been? What, what is, I wouldn't trade it for nothing. 
I feel like it really made me mature. Um, you know, you will never, how can I put it? Hmm. It's all about the journey, I feel like. You know, the journey may not be the best starting off, but along the way, you got bumps, you got your highs, you got your lows. So I feel like if you could take all that and make the best out of it, you could, it'll always be a good journey, no matter what.